I'm on my way to Disney, you already know. Macarons. This is gonna be another situation like beignet, where I was saying beignet the whole time. It made sense to me grammatically, but I would like to find uh, the best macarons, preferably Halloween themed. I just recently had a macaron, a real Disney macaron, for the first time ever in my video that I filmed where I did the taste test food haul uh, a few weeks ago. Um, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. But that was the first time I had ever had a macaron and I didn't realize that I liked them. So now I am going to avidly pursue them. Now there are some cool looking Disney ones. Uh, there's the Mickey Mummy macaron, which was sold out last time I was at Jolly Holiday on Main Street. And there is also the macaron cart that sells little tiny macarons in downtown Disney that are adorbs and delish. And then there is a black macaron that has black ice cream in it. What? That sounds spooky. We don't check that out. It sounds haunted and it sounds hauntingly good. All right, I'm in traffic. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys something I actually genuinely do while I'm in the car by myself in traffic for long bouts of time. I changed the lyrics of the songs that already exist that are perfectly fine in Disney movies so that they kind of fit my life. This is true and I don't think I've ever told anyone this. Let me give you an example. I've been sitting on a never ending highway trying to get to Disney. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's not. It's hit or miss. I mean, it's not premeditated anyways. On my way into the park. I'm so excited. It's 18. Let's go. Scary 
part. the spookiest treats I can find here. So we have the Mickey macaroon. 
and uh, the Cruella de Vil brownie, which I've heard great things about. And I have no idea what's in this one. Tombstone gravestone cupcake? I don't know. But I will tell you as soon as I find out. Seems to be a cookies and cream filling. It's cold. Couple of bonus things but today we are really focusing on the Halloween macaroons so this is my first stop for the Mickey macaroon and it's cold it's heavy I really liked the raspberry one that was like my first macaroon I've ever tried ever and it was amazing so oh, this is just as good it kind of reminds me of like an ice cream sandwich it's like cold and heavy imagine a macaroon just tasting like pure frosting. That's what this one tastes like. It's very, very good. The macaroon texture is perfect. Flaky, but so sweet. Like one of the sweetest things I've had. It's good. Really good. I'm gonna take that. You see, I got a to-go box so that nobody yelled at me because I do get comments where people are upset that I don't finish the food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna give it to Eric and he can finish it. Compared to the raspberry macaroon, the raspberry macaroon is a lot better. If you haven't tried either, I recommend that one or both. But I'll still give it a solid seven and a half out of 10. I wonder what flavor the black frosting is. I'm by myself, I'm trying to hold this and film. You know what, I'll put this on my Starbucks cup. That didn't really work too well. Hold on. Let's make a make a thing. Oh, why didn't I do that the first time? These are my cocoa layers. So we know this is white chocolate. Yeet. No, I'm just kidding. I spilled some of it on my jeans. No good deed goes unfinished. That made no sense. This is white chocolate. Let's go right into the middle. Oh, it's hard to tilt and do. Mmm. It's really good. The richness of the chocolate on my teeth black automatically gets it too for making my teeth black. No, it's pretty good. I don't like that my teeth are black though, but that's not cool, man. It's like really hard to get into. To me, that was nothing special. So, I would say it's a good brownie, but coming from me, since I'm not a big brownie person, I'd give it um, six and a half out of 10. I think I need an espresso break. So I got a little bit of espresso. I can't even see it. Oh, I just wasted some of it. Good one, Jordy. Um, I find that espresso is like the worst thing I've ever tasted, but it's a great way to clean your palate. Feel better, feel good, feel alive. Let's get into the, this is cool. So, uh, oh, very crumbly, very crumbly guys, very crumbly. Seems to be like some type of mousse. Oh, so it's like a really soft chocolate cupcake with like a mousse layer. Mm. This is way better tasting than the Corella de Ville brownie in my opinion. In my opinion, in my opinion. And it's really cute. I'm gonna give this one like an eight out of 10. Maybe an eight and a half because it's really soft, really good. I take it back, it's even better. It has like a strawberry, raspberry type of filling inside. And it doesn't make your mouth black. My mouth is still black from the Corella de Ville brownie. Everyone needs to know that that will make your mouth black, your teeth black. And I'm normally not looking in the mirror, so I wouldn't even know. So thank gosh I'm using this camera right now. Yes, very good. Okay, that's all going with me. 
Well, they're calling those macaroons now. It's like. I need his other ear for good measure. Guardians of the Galaxy now mission breakout because Guardians of the Galaxy is like my favorite ever. I don't know why, I normally don't really love superhero movies. So I love that one. That one makes me feel some type of way. But I also love Incredicoaster, aka formerly known as California Screaming. So those are my top three because I can't pick one. My favorite spot is in here for sure. The cool thing is I didn't realize that Animation Academy has special Halloween time characters to draw. Yeah, man. Um, so I was gonna stay to do the little alien, but uh, you know what? I'll stay to do the little alien. I'm back to try on the spirit jersey once again. I had to take off my jacket and my ears because it got hot. I don't know, I'm still quite torn about it. my camera's about to die, but look at this. Oh my gosh, it's the spider silk macaroon ice cream sandwich from Clarabelle's. And, woo! I knew I was gonna mess that up. There I go, I'm gonna hold the camera. Oh, this is gonna be hard to bite, look at that. I have no idea what any of these flavors are, so this is gonna be a surprise. Clear. 
He's like a Tootsie Roll. Three out of ten. These are not my favorite ones. I'm gonna take these home and give them to Eric. They will not go to waste. Don't worry, guys. Thanks for watching, and make sure to comment down below what you want to see me do in the parks. I will see you here next Saturday. Bye.